Winners and Losers was obviously a great, great role for you. Mm. And you're beautiful friends with the girls that you work with. Yeah. And I've read that you said that it's really rare for four actresses to get along and be as close as you guys are. Yeah. Actresses especially, I think in general, four women that just meet each other that have to work, you know, whatever job you might be in, mm. I think... I think women can be incredibly supportive and generous and um, and friendly, and but they can also not be. Yeah, no, um, yeah. And when they're not, it's really horrible. Yeah. Um, and I think it's for actresses especially, it's all of that stuff is just heightened. Right. Um, but yeah, we were really lucky. I, re I remember meeting Virginia, um, I think we'd met at parties before. I think she'd bailed me up once, and because I was on a dare iced coffee ad, which right, she thought right. was brilliant. <laughs> and, she, and she's this, this kind of big bundle of energy, this wild hair, and she literally bailed me up against a wall and said, oh my God, you're really funny. I love that ad. Oh, I was like, oh, right. hello, nice to meet you. And that was kind of our meeting. And then, then the time we properly met was in the audition for Winners and Losers in Sydney. And we had a scene together where obviously we were playing Sophie and Francis. And, um, and it was a great scene and we were great in the scene together. And it was right. like an audition that just went really well. And we both walked out of the room and went, my God, imagine if we get this, this would yeah, be just, yeah, and yeah. we would play friends and it was, yeah. And Did we, you kind of know? Did you have that feeling where you go, I think this is... Well, I think because you have so many auditions. So you had the first one and I remember thinking this would be amazing if I got it. This is like a dream role. It'll be so much fun. And then you, I think there was like four or five auditions. And by the fifth one, you're like, I think I got this. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, and you, you're kind of working out how to spend your money that you might be earning. Yeah. But, the, and I remember the director at the time said, um, I knew it was going well because they got me to read for other people. Oh, okay. So I think I read for Tom Wren, who came in as Dr. Doug. So he was the reader for me as Sophie. What do you mean by that? So when you go in for an audition, you've got the actor that's going for the role and then they'll have another actor there that's the reader. Right, okay. To read opposite so you. who you to, bounce off for Yeah, the to right, act within right, the right. scene. So Tom Wren was the reader for me. Right. So you come in, you go, hello, nice to meet you, Tom. He'll be my reader. And you do the scene together and it was great. Right. And I was like, oh, he's pretty good. And then, so they liked what I was doing and then they ended up swapping us and said, actually, Tom, we're going to get you to go for Dr. Doug. Um, and Mel, can you be the reader? And I was like, I think this is a good sign. Yeah, right. I will be the reader. And then they were just looking at our chemistry and seeing how that was working. Oh, and right. Yeah. So it was a, I think by the end of it, I, actually, I think the director said to me um, on the down low, he was like, this is totally yours. Just don't fuck it up. <gasps> yeah. I was like, okay. No, I'm not going to talk. I'm going to go home now. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Thanks for seeing me. Okay, bye. In yeah. terms of the, you know, of women going for the same roles, and like you said, you know, you can find your people who are so supportive, and mm. but then there is that other side which shits me so much, you know. And mm. I think we, as even if we like so pro women, there is parts of us sometimes that feel that jealousy and yeah. think, shit. I want that. Why did she get that? It's I think yeah. it's human nature. I think it's very yeah. Yeah. annoyingly ingrained in women, especially because sometimes mm. I'll say to my boyfriend. Hey, do you ever get jealous? And he's like, not really. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know why that is. To it's not a, feel that. It seems to be a, that je that horrible jealousy. Yes. Is, I mean, I'm, I'm sure it is. A, it's a it's a human trait. But yeah, it seems to be more. Yeah, with females, which I and I hate, and I sometimes, as I've tried to work on it, you know, mm. and then I can I go, all right, I'm feeling jealous now. What is that? You know, because yeah. it's such an ugly, yeah, and it doesn't thing feel to very feel. Nice. It doesn't feel very nice at all. Actually, I was watching a show recently that I, I'm really enjoy, enjoying watching. I won't say what show, okay. but I did go for a role on it. And I, um, when you, when I finally watch the role that I went for and someone else is playing it, I yeah. want them to be really good. Yeah, right. Because if I didn't get it. Oh, I want whoever yeah. to get, and then I'll watch and go, oh, right, I can see why. Yeah, you she's got it. great. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which I think is a good way. That's of, a really good way, because I thought you were going to say I wanted her to be crap at No, it. <laughs> no, because if she's crap, it's, yeah, I'm like, you're extra crap I should, be, <laughs> I should be playing that role, it's a waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, um, yeah, when you do watch something and you think, God, I could have done that better. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do you find that in acting that it is, 
you know, more so like that, the competition and... Yeah, competition is... It's, yeah, and, and because the industry in Australia is so small, mm -hmm. you do know everyone that's going up for the roles. Yeah. Um, but I think, having said that, it's, it's... Like, I haven't worked in the States. I've been to LA a couple of times, but it's, it's a really friendly environment in Australia, yeah. I think. We're in, like, our own little bubble. And even though the, there is... The, the pond is smaller, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it doesn't feel as cutthroat and it right. doesn't, there's, yeah, it's, it feels a lot safer here, I don't know, yeah. it's, and, and people are on the whole pretty supportive, I yeah. think. Yeah, and it's probably just finding your people within that too, who you yeah. go, this is my support, I know where you stand and mm. it's not as bullshit as LA. Absolutely, sure. and, and people, people respect each other and, and respect just other people's work and if you yeah. work hard and you're nice to get along with.